Well, well, well. Hey everybody, this is Downware. It's been about 8 bazillion years since I did a Warcraft 3 commentary. I think there's still some people that are interested in seeing that. And somebody on WCReplays.com gave me a replay to do. I don't know if the guy that gave it to me is one of the guys in the game or not, but it's a Kodos Forsaken replay, which I've seen some of his games, I think. I thought it was enter I thought it was pretty entertaining. It's kind of a bullshit strat, and I'm kind of surprised that it still works in 2016. I figured by now Blizzard would have fixed shit like this, but they didn't, so hey, comedy. So anyway, let's get started. Kodos Forsaken. Yeah, I had to, like, depatch the game back to 1.26, and I had to uh, find this W3 arena map, and blah, 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 whatever. Here it is. Kodos Forsaken's playing orcs. He's teaming with Weir Foles, who's human, and they're playing against FS Knight and FS, uh, Jehu! What kind of weird name is Jehu, anyway? Jehu. Jumpin' Jehu's a fat. I don't know what the fuck that is. Anyway. I got ally colors on because otherwise I can never tell who's on whose team. So, don't have to worry about pausing and all that kind of shit because I'm just recording it and then putting it on YouTube. Fancy. Alright, let's go. So, it's basically Twisted Meadows. As far as I know, there's nothing different about this map. I'm not sure why they have to have a W3 Arena version of the map in order to play the game instead of just using the official maps. I don't know. Maps have been a lot better. Yeah, uh, I guess things are... I'm sure things have changed a lot since last time I paid attention to Warcraft 3. They told me that uh, people will use W3 Arena instead of Battle.net, which is interesting, I guess. Ready to work. I also heard something in the news recently about how, uh, Blizzard's distancing themselves from the Battle.net name or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. We Are Fools is gonna go to the gym after this and get his pump on, bro. Kodos for a second is like, hey, you need a spotter, bro? And he's like, I don't know, bro. Alright. We Are Fools is going for Archmage. Or Archmage. Blade Master for the Orcs. I guess he's still an overpowered piece of shit like he's always been. I need to turn down the sound on these headphones. This game is too loud. There we go. Must be because I'm an old man now. Hey, you damn kids and your loud video games and your rap music! In my day, 8-bits uh, and Weird Al Yankovic was the best! Blade Master. Come on, Blade Master. Come out. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it being synced, so if I want to, I can just fast forward. But whatever. Fucking shit knight is going for Priestess of the Moon. And his buddy Jehu is going for uh, Torrin Chieftain. Mikasa Esukasa, the Blade Master. And here we go. Some kind of creep for specific items bullshit, I'm sure. He's going to the shop and he buys a circlet of nobility. And I guess that troll trapper must drop some fat loots. Ooh, a tome of knowledge. Now he's a Rhodes Scholar. E equals MC squared. Uh, thank you, Blade Master. You are indeed a genius. Priestess of the Moon. Harassment. Too bad he went to uh, True Shot Aura first, so it doesn't matter if he gets all his mana nuked by that arcane tower. Doing TC mass? Pretty sure you can't mass Torn Chieftains, but, you know, that's just me. Unless, they, unless they've really changed the game since the last time I saw it. So, let's see what the other guys are doing. Friggin' Night Elves. I'm sure he's gonna mass Tier 1 shit, because no matter how long the game's out, that's still usually the most popular strategy for these guys. Torn Chieftain with Headhunters. Is that, like, the new thing? I guess. I don't know. More Blade Master creeping. 
to get more fat loots, I'm sure. Maybe he'll get another Tome of Knowledge and I'll become a super genius. Nope. Alright, we are foals that just ran into the orcs. And he's trying to take down the Torn Chieftain. It may not be that effective if they are massing Torn Chieftains, you know. Just killing the one's not going to do much. That's my Gosu pro tip for today. Don't bother killing one Torrent Chieftain if they got mass Torrent Chieftains, because you're just wasting your time, bro. Meanwhile, you could be at the gym spotting weird foals while he's lifting up those weights, bro. Getting ripped. Uh-oh. Torrent Chieftain's running. Oh, scroll of speed. He's running like a bitch. That's one fast cow. And, oh. One more hit and he's dead. Get him, Mikasa! Ah, uh, he's too fat. That's why Weir Folds needs to get to the gym. He needs to work on his cardio. Alright, you made it to the Moonwells, so Torn Chief is still alive. Let's see what, uh, Dragon? What's he talking about? Yeah! Dragon, yeah! That's good, yeah! Alright, Blade Master's probably gonna wake up the creeps or some shit. Nope, oh, nope, never mind. Getting boots of speed. Our ally is being attacked. Uh oh, we are foals is getting butt raped in his base, and they have no they have no units. Looks like they're fast tacking to tier two, not making anything else. So, oops. And they're getting towered. You're getting night elf towered. Wonder what that dragon shit was he was talking about. He says, as if he doesn't already know because he's watched the replay multiple times. Blade Master, killing some dudes. We Are Foles is losing all of his peons, or peasants. That can't be good. Well, he's gonna get a Blood Mage, though, so, you know. He's definitely gonna win if he's got a Blood Mage, clearly. Run, Blade Master! Run! That was close. So, what's the other orc guy doing? Mass? So they're both going mass tier 1, which obviously would be the best counter you would think to fast tech to tier 2. Both guys just pump out tier 1 and rush them, and so far so good. Although I don't know where all the orcs guys are. Oh, I guess they all got killed by the uh, Blade Master. The one-man army of doom. So, two bestiaries going up for uh, Kodos Forsaken. And his ally is fucked! He's got nothing left. <laughs> Alright, he got his Blood Mage out. I guess he's giving mana to the uh, Archmage with that, whatever it's called, Mana Siphon shit, so he can make more of those freaking beefy ass water elementals. Better run, bitch! That's all you got left! And he teleports out. He got a couple of pe peasants out, too. So that's good. Okay, Kodos Forsaken's making a raider. He's getting in Snare. And he's getting a... Is he getting a Weavern? Oh my god, he got a Weavern. Weaverns are the best. You gotta do Bottom Dragon for me. Is that like the new dance move? Is that like the nay nay? Is that what the damn kids are doing nowadays? In my day, we did the twist with Chubby Checker and we liked it! Oh, he just got a goblin zeppelin. Something tells me this has something to do with that there dragon thingy he mentioned. So it's basically two on one at this point. Kodos Forsaken has his two heroes, and he's just now getting other units. Wisp making an expo. Where? Here? Maybe he's talking about this wisp over here. Probably. Alright. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything. Alright, the Zeppelin has a raider in it, and a wind rider, or weavern as I like to call them. Or wyvern, or wyvern. I wonder what they're doing. Jehu is about to get owned. 
That's my that's my suspicion. I got tome for you. Oh, yeah, he got a tome of retraining so he can switch to Blizzard with his Archmage. All right, what's he doing? Uh oh, oh jeez, level ten Red Dragon just got pulled. And ensnare! Ah, this reminds me of that old Plunder Isle exploit where you could like pull the dragons to your enemy's base, and then they'll just sit there and kill them until they're dead. Surely that doesn't still work. Let's watch the dragon. Dragon's just chilling. I hear something. Oh shit! It's a peon buffet. Now that's just dirty pool right there. <laughs> still pretty funny though. <laughs> nice. How the fuck does that still work in 2016? After 8 billion patches, somehow they don't fix the Oh, you can pull a giant level 10 creep into your enemy's base and then they get butt raped. Meanwhile, they still don't have anything. They have no army. <laughs> Jehoo! Says, Seriously, bro? Koda's Forsaken rolls on the floor laughing. As he gets his weight belt out and his gloves, so he'll be ready to go to the gym when this is over. And the dragon's still wrecking, wreaking havoc on Jehu's base. Uh oh, they're gonna kill the dragon! That's okay, they'll just go get another one over here in the bottom left corner. Yeah. We're under <laughs> That's fucking dirty shit right there. <laughs> Apparently they've done this before, because all he had to say was, Dragon? And then the guy's like, hell yeah, dragon. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, he did the splits and he screamed. He's dead. There goes the witch doctor. Mikasa. Going back to Mikasa. Yeah, good one. All right. So Jay, who's trying to rebuild his base after getting a butt reaming by that dragon, but they managed to kill it. Wonder if he even got the item. Where's the torn chieftain? Yeah, he got a scroll of restoration. Not sure how much, how good that's gonna work for him. They're still just massing tier one. Oh, they attacked a tier two. I'm not sure what their plan is, but apparently, I don't think it includes getting ass raped by dragons on all sides. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna do another dragon pole. He's going over here for another one. Oh my god. Meanwhile, fan service knight is getting butt raped by that dragon. Blademaster is still fighting by himself and somehow not dying, which is ridiculous. Uh oh, they got a, a uh, what's that called? Sentry Ward. Yeah. See, I remember all this shit. I'm smart. I know what games are and how they work. And, oh, he got stomped! Is he gonna die? No shit. And, oh, there goes the Blade Master right at the border. No entry. Fortunately, he has 8,000 towers and his Witch Doctor back. And now he's... And he just pulled the other dragon. <laughs> and fuck's sake, Knight! is getting owned. Jesus Christ. It's kind of hard to win when you're beset on all sides by level 10 dragons, but... <laughs> what the hell? That's crazy. You tell me right now, how do I stop that? It's fucking bullshit! Oh, is the Blood Mage gonna go down? He can't revive him if he does. He doesn't have an altar. Does he have any of his peasants left? I don't even know where they would be if they... If, oh, there they are. They're over there doing jack shit. They're playing... playing tag and doing some horseplay. Meanwhile, Kodos Forsaken finishes off that expansion. Well, jeez, that's too bad. All dragons have been pulled. Fortunately, Fairy Sandwich is a strong clan. I'm just coming up with anything I can to guess what FS stands for. Uh, maybe it's Fanny Suckers. Yeah, that could be it. That's That seems plausible. And they're going for the town hall! Do these guys still have an army at all? Or is it still... They got one Wyvern and three heroes and he's reviving his Blademaster. Besides that, they got nothing. Well, except the dragons. 
<laughs> Fucking dragons. Good old hex. Torrent Chief and got turned into a little woodland creature and then got ice dropped on his head. That's just unkind. Oh shit! Fortress is gonna go down! Repair it faster, you scrubs! Don't be like Frost Siphon and their worthless peons that all got massacred by that dragon. Yep, there goes the wyvern. Now it's just two heroes <laughs> and all their all their this is just sad. Yeah. Mass area of effect ponage right here, basically. Oh shit! Sure. He's gonna get the archmage. Nope, he got away. So yeah. Our town is under attack. Clan fucking silly is in the midst of losing a game to creeps, basically. Attack. Nope, there goes the raider. He just lost 50% of his army. Yeah, they're all they have to do, I guess, is manage to take out all those, uh... They can't kill all these towers, they don't have enough shit to do it. Our town is under the other guys don't, so... Orf nearly, nearly deada. I agree. Looks like the dragon decided to move in. It has a good school system and low crime rate. We'll take it. Oh, there goes the torrent chieftain. Yeah, this is over. I'm sure that uh, Clan FS here is not happy. Oh, I know. I figured it out. You guessed it. It's Clan Frank Stallone. I knew I'd figured it out. It was only a matter of time. I don't know why these guys haven't quit yet. Do they have anything? He still got. He still got a gold mine. He's teching to tier three as if that's going to do him anything any good right now. Let's see what the other guy's got. He's got nothing. He's got his hero and two whiffs, apparently. Yeah, that's what he's got. Oh, and he's got a tree of life. Oh, shit! Goodbye! Well, that's it for them. Now all I gotta do is finish off this base. Peon Micro! Can't be defeated! I guess Blizzard's too busy counting their eight gazillion dollars that they're still making off of uh, World of Warcraft to bother fixing things like this. Or else they don't support the game anymore. I don't really know, actually. Maybe that's why everybody plays on W3 Arena. Maybe Battle.net's not even up anymore. I don't know. I guess he, you know, he just spotted the Tree of Life. We're under attack. And yeah, that's it. No heroes, though. Hello! Why you no GG? Oh, they did. FS Knight has left the game voluntarily. Must be auto-text. And then glitch auto-text when it says that Kodos Forsaken has announced who has left the game. Well, I was watching this replay, thinking about what I was going to do at the end of it. And I realized that the real story in this audio is the unsung heroes in Fried Steak's base. Here's their story. Disclaimer. The events depicted in this ending of the video may or may not have actually happened. Thank you for watching Downwares Audio Commentary. And now for a dramatic reenactment of the game you have just watched. What a beautiful day for a Warcraft game! I know, right? And can you believe I'm only two days away from retirement? I bet you can't wait to see your grandkids grow up, Gary! You know it, Sammy! 
Word from the front lines is that we're kicking this Kodos Forsaken guy's ass. Yep, should all be over soon. Did you hear something? Hmm? I didn't hear anything. I was too busy appreciating life and all the- HOLY SHIT! Sammy! It's too late for me, Gary! You gotta get back to your family! No! Thank God. I think it left. Poor Sammy! I better go out and look for survivors. Why? Why must we make war, Craft? Look at the devastation that has been wrought. If only we could play Peacecraft instead. Think of how much better the world. Oh shit, it's back! Rest in peace, Gary and Sammy, loyal workers, family members, and friends. Congratulations, Kodos Forsaken, and we are foals. I hope you're proud of yourselves, you monsters. I think we can all agree that Kodos Forsaken and the other guy, uh, we are foals, are definitely bad people, and they ruined those peons' lives. Hopefully they can live with themselves. Alright, I'm not sure how easy it is to find replays worth doing audios on, but I guess all you have to do is just come up with a wacky idea like I did, and have something strange that happens in it, in the, the uh, replay, and we're off to the races. I'm still experimenting with using uh, video editing and things like that, and I'm currently trying to build up my audience with my YouTube page and with my Twitch streaming, so I'll just go ahead and plug all those things here at the end. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash downware. I've got a bunch of old Warcraft 3 audio commentaries still on there. All the ones I've ever done are up there. And lately I've been doing Let's Play videos, usually ones called Asshole Edition, where I play games with moral choices and I just make all the dickhead choices. People seem to enjoy it. And I'm also Twitch streaming. If you go to twitch.tv slash downwaretwitch, that's my Twitch streaming channel. I've been doing a pacifist run on Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and I've also been playing Fallout 4 and being kind of a prick. I tried to kill everybody in the home base town the other day, and I realized, oh, they're immortal, basically, uh, which I realized after I murdered one of them and then ran away because the rest of the town was trying to kill me, and then came back after a few hours. And the person I killed was just walking around like nothing happened. Bullshit. Necromancy. Some kind of devil tree or something's going on there. So, I got those things. You can follow me on Twitter every time I put up a video or start streaming. If you're following me on Twitter, you'll get a tweet. That's at D0WNWHERE. And as unlikely as it is to actually work, I'm trying to make some sort of a career out of doing these types of things because I've tried all different kinds of things in my life. Different jobs, different classes in school. It seems like the only thing I'm good at and that I enjoy doing is making videos and audio things and having fun and trying to make people laugh. So I'm trying to do that now for a job while I work other jobs. So it's starting off slow, as you could imagine. I'm hoping I'll build it up over time, but right now, if you want to help, if you want to contribute, you can go to patreon.com slash downware. If you want, you can uh, make a contribution there. If you don't want to, that's also fine. There's no pressure or anything like that. It's just an option that you have. I also put up a video there on, on uh, the Patreon site that explained... Uh, my feelings on the whole thing and what I'm trying to do with it. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. So I'll be doing more War Warcraft 3 audio commentaries in the future, along with everything else that I'm working on, so hopefully you'll be there to check it out. So this is Downware, and I'll see you next time.